this is one part of the future Valorant lore that I'm really interested to see, because I'm assuming the reason they still have this in here is because they're going to bring back Agent 8 at some point. So this is actually part two of my Valorant lore videos. In part one, we covered a lot more about the actual lore itself. This one's more about the character. So if you guys haven't seen that video, be sure to go check it out. It'll be linked down in the description below. But also be sure to come back and check out this video. Hope you guys enjoy. If you're new here and you enjoy the content, be sure to subscribe, check out my Twitch channel, and join my Discord, both of which will be linked in the description of this video. But the agents, this is the fun part. So like I said, the Valorant protocol is the protocol of Valorant agents. So in the Valorant lore, first light is this thing that happens where basically all these people become radiants. They get their powers. This is how people become superhuman. Right, like take Phoenix, for example, his powers are from Radiantite. Sage gets her ice powers. For certain people is not a quote unquote radiant, which is also the highest rank in Val, but also refers to those that have superpowers. So Phoenix and Sage, they're both radiants. Chamber on the other hand is not a radiant. And so he needs to compensate. So what he does is he takes Radiantite and he makes cool guns out of them. But this takes place 10 years before the story in the game begins, which is with the destruction of Ascent. Between First Light and now, or like when Ascent gets blown up, uh, the Valorant Protocol gets um, created. Okay, basically, uh, Brimstone creates the Valorant Protocol. Him and Viper, super chill. Uh, they also have Omen, who is a quote-unquote Radiant. He's not really a Radiant, he is a manufactured Radiant. So what they did is they took Radiantite and they took this dude. The reason it's redacted is because he was experimented on. That's why Omen wears all the wraps, because when he was turned into a Radiant, his body was destroyed and he's like not fully human anymore. And that's why when Sage is like, yo, I don't sense any life in you, it's because there isn't. It's because he's actually dead because the experiments killed him. But he turned into a Radiant that came back to life. And then we have other agents that are just recruited out of order. So we have Killjoy, we have Cypher, Sova. And here you can see the classification. So this means that they weren't actually given power. They don't have powers. They just have tech. So Cypher, he doesn't have powers. He just uses Radiant tech. Sova is the same. Killjoy is the same. Then we have Sage, who's from China. She's Radiant. So the only Radiants we have so far are Sage. And then Omen, who is technically a Radiant, but not really a Radiant. And then this is my favorite part of the Valorant lore. There is an agent number eight that is redacted. And if you look at the cinematics, if you look at the specific cinematic, what is it called Burn It Up? You guys want to listen to 101 warm up? If you look at the cinematic, you can see here the lockers. You have seven. Oh, let me move my camera. I'm so sorry. You have seven. Eight is marked off. And then you have Phoenix. And based on the numbers that we get here, we know that number seven is sage and number nine is phoenix number eight is redacted we don't know who it is so it could be any character that comes up in the future this is one part of the future valorant lore that i'm really interested to see because i'm assuming the reason they still have this in here is because they're going to bring back agent eight at some point and i'm very interested to see how they come back and then we start recruiting other characters obviously phoenix lore we know jets lore we know uh rain is a little bit of uh an odd so basically her powers let her steal souls from other people and so she has a little sister that she's giving her the souls that she's stealing to keep alive. So basically, the only reason Rain is working for Valorant Protocol is because she's trying to keep her sister alive. Yeah, every other agent basically just has small lore that ties into the, the greater part of the lore. So like Breach, he has beef with Brimstone. He used to be a thief, but he got recruited in the Valorant Protocol. Sky is a Radiant. Yoru is a Radiant. Astra is a Radiant. Yoru is interesting because a lot of his... Uh, lore has to do with the missing container. So basically, Yor goes to Russia to Icebox, finds this container port that has the, the mask, and that's where he gets his power. And another unresolved storyline that we have right now is he falls into a dimension, and he says instead of he was falling through space, it felt like he was traveling from now to then. So in the future, we might have time travel. Okay, the next set of uh, big lore was when we got Yoru introduced in Icebox. You can take <laughs> Yoru, fuck him anyways. You in position yet? <sighs> Working on it. What's taking so long? Just... I thought you knew this place. Yeah, well, I yeah this is a joke. Don't Can't take me. jokes apparently. We don't have time. I'm going in. Do that, and you're gonna get the bullet in your head. <laughs> Please, let me show you how to bust that. Phoenix starts. That's fair, super. That's fair. Alright, so they're trying to detonate the spike at Icebox. 
And this is also our introduction into your room. Dude, that's so badass. I need this fucking show, bro. Dude, that's so badass. The show would be so good, bro. He said the line! Where they kill Cypher in every cinematic. It's so sad, bro. Viper smoke. Big splash. There's not a zip anywhere in. Dude, shoddy to the face beats a vandal. That's crazy. Yo, what's good, fever? The Yoru TP. And then he knifes her from behind. <laughs> I told you, bro. Oh. Leave it to the bus. Whoa, 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 whoa. Through Phoenix. Nuts. What the hell was that for? I told you you'd get shot. Not by you. You're calm. She shot first. First? So you did shoot me. Let's go. So the cinematic doesn't really like show anything about the lore specifically, uh, but it should be noted that Yoru and Icebox have a deep connection, and a lot of the time. Uh, there's a lot of voice memos that show up in the range, speaking of Yoru exploring, exploring icebox. KO, super cool, comes from the future. And basically what happened is he comes from the future where the Radiance destroy everything. And this is, this ties back to the beef. Basically Reina created some sort of internal conflict with the Valorant protocol and she kills everyone that's not Radiant and it starts some war. So KO is like, fuck, I can't save the future. Uh, the world right now so he travels back in time comes back to breeze and then he joins the valorant protocol chamber we've already been over basically meets his other self they blow up the everett lynn research facility which is fracture and yeah he gets recruited into the valorant protocol and then he starts helping them he's like hey you guys should uh you guys should recruit neon you guys need power for this te teleporter thing and kind of becomes cool um neon's a huge part of the lore as well because she's that power source i just mentioned and so she helps create the bridge that lets them connect to omega earth and then we have fade and we have harbor harbor doesn't really have that much lore right now fade was important to lore as well in this lore uh basically she's looking for someone that's taken from her and so she thinks the valorant protocol is to blame for it. so she kind of tracks them down so she's just torturing them and later when they kidnap her take her back to um the range which is like their home base uh they find out that she actually didn't need any of them like none of them were at fault so she's like fuck it i'm gonna join you guys and she's gonna find who she's looking for which would be very interesting she was agent eight so she becomes uh the 20th agent fade and then with harbor like we were talking about basically some shit happens there's another organization that we i didn't know about called realm he's fucking with but basically that's that's what it is so at this point where we stand there's this hidden eighth character the valent protocol has realized that they may also be the bad guys and they're going across dimensions to figure it out and there's a bunch of unresolved storylines for specific characters so omen we don't know who his backstory uh we don't know about agent eight why was harbor being hunted by realm who is fade looking for and yeah we're still the lore is still developing but so far that's what we got that's what we got Basically, they're opening the bridge to Omega Earth, and that's where this goes. This is their first mission on Omega Earth. Pathway algorithm successful. The good guys have arrived. All right, kid. Confirm the location of our Radiantite and get out. We don't want to fight. <laughs> Breaking and entering. What could go wrong? Trust me, if they're weaponizing Radiantite, we've got bigger problems. It's time to stop playing these What's up, Jerry? Don't forget Brimstone? Ooh, and their way back's gone. 
Que bosta! Que bosta! bosta! That's so dope, bro. Where are you hiding? Let's see. Fortified grid, plasma sensor. And Killjoy is another example of someone who uses radiant technology but isn't actually radiant. Seeing the chicken move around is so cool. And then... Reyna and Neon are also Radiance. As electric ability and like, vampire ability. Frenzy one type goes crazy. We were saying that earlier. Okay. Neon's at 40? Neon's at 40? Time to go. I'm close. Don't die for just another minute. Gotcha. Downloading. And that is Pearl. Now, what are you up to? Reality stabilizer, hydroponics, de desalination. This isn't a weapon. It's a life support system. Is that our ulti? None of them have skins. No. Get back here. I found us a ride home. The Viper and Rena have beef, floor was too, yep. You busted my suit. That's not good. For you. War crimes neon, say we're going neon for Yo, take the shot. She was mine. We go now or we don't go. And the use of the ulti, bro. And so in this cinematic, we learn that uh, they're using the Radiant Knight as life support. Um, on Omega Earth, Pearl is one of the last cities that remains, and they're using it to keep the, sis keep the city alive. So, um, yeah, apparently Alpha Earth is the bad guys. Where are they? We don't know.
we'll find out. Uh, but part of the lore that I forgot to mention a little bit earlier was uh, within the Valorant Protocol, they have beef too, even on Alpha Earth. So there's two factions of the Valorant Protocol. Uh, obviously the main one, which is started by Brimstone, uh, Viper, Sage, etc. And then there's the Rainus subsection, which believes that Radiant Knights are the future, or Radiants are the future. And because of that, she wants all of the Radiants to be uh, untethered, basically. That's her goal. And so for a lot of the first act, that's where the conflict is. Uh, she's kind of beefing with everyone. But yeah, because the game is still ongoing, they're still adding a bunch of updates. The lore is still moving on. Obviously, we still have to figure out all the stuff with Valorant Agent number eight, all the stuff that's going on with the future Valorant, the stuff that happened with the Order. There's so many other storylines that are still coming out. So obviously, there's going to be more lore coming through and we'll explore it as it comes out as well. If you guys enjoyed this style of video, be sure to let me know down in the comments down below. Be sure to leave a like as well. If you guys are new here, please drop a sub. We're super close to 100 subs and it would mean a lot to me. Outside of that, hope you guys enjoyed and until the next one, catch you then. Peace, peace.